with Edinburgh Rugby. And the score follow him out onto the pitch. Rolling on is Fenter. A bit more purpose to this attack from Edinburgh and Immelman almost spotting a hole. McBurney has and he's going to score the opening try of the game. The hooker goes under the post. That was the, the ball back inside to Immelman and then we said early on right away the space against Zebra is sometimes over the top of the ball. You can see how quickly the Zebra defence want to spread out, they want to fan out, cover the field, but McBurney spies it and the quick placement and the quick pickup and he charges over and just don't chip away at the confidence of Zebra. Now you've got a landing five metres out, you don't know what's coming. And 15 of Edinburgh's 25 tries have originated from situations like this. The line-out can be deadly. Charlie Shield directs a few more in there. McBurney might fancy himself for an early double in Parma. And the hooker trying to break off. Can he get it down? The question is asked. And it will be looked at. It's uh, Edinburgh still going, though trying to get some forward momentum Hodgson and Shield now thinking about getting his hands on it Dean lands a hand and darting over is Jamie Hodgson and an ideal start for Mike Blair's side yeah exactly what you want away from home Jamie Hodgson actually does really well because in two or three occasions it looked as if Zebra had almost splintered them all pick up from Venter he's been lively early on the loose head. No, oh, brilliantly done by Dean. And now they can spin it wide. And it's going to be a try on debut for Wes Hoosen. And that might well be just his second touch for the club. It's Venter who got in behind some lovely hands from Christian. He delayed pass to Luke Crosby. And then Matt Carey with the final delivery. And it's really simple finish, wasn't it? From Goosen and that left hand side. That's Edinburgh's DNA. Keep the ball moving, move it away from the tackle, draw the defence, shift the target. It's well finished in the left corner, but it came from some good work up front between the two props, actually. De Bruyne and Venter getting over top of the possession, and then Zebra running to defenders on that right hand side. Wes Goosen, the try scorer, takes that one in and Matt up. Okay. Is this being looked at by the TMO? This is it coming there. Oh, it's directed Nick Haining's head, isn't it? And the ball's at the back of it. MJ Pelser, the South African open the side. The, head. the red guard. Sees red. And his heart the sank the, the minute that the referee came over and delivered the news. McBurney has it. If they can get this moving again, there's advantage coming. Dean and Hoosen land their assistance. And McBurney drives over. A double for him, four for Edinburgh. Bell on their way to a five-pointer in Italy. Excellent delivery from the line-out from McBurney. Well taken. Right at the end of the half, but likewise Edinburgh in defence. And Fusco does find Pierre Bruno. Have a check. An unconvincing duck down from Bruno. Shield wants it quickly for the back line and nicely just popped out from Van der Valt. Here comes Mata, who gets it away to Curry. He's looking for another assist and he puts Immelman in the corner as Edinburgh take off in the second half. Perfectly timed, and Immelman slides into the corner as Bill Mata's offloading this pass under a lot of pressure. It's perfect from Matt Curry, really good distribution, and Immelman squeezes in at the corner. You know, it's quite common to, to chop low and get that second player over top of the ball as quick as possible rather than that. The more physical teams will maybe try and hold you up. Chasers here, and the bounce of the ball goes the way of Zebre and Fusco. And they do get their score. Penalties mount, penalties mount up again against Edinburgh. Gone quickly, is it Fusco? Quickly taken, and this time 
the try is scored okay. by the scrum half. He's made that quick. Have a real look. He didn't go that quickly at all. Edinburgh will be frustrated at how slow they had to react. Luke Cosby looks as if he's struggling a little bit. McKinnon can't quite cover it. Andreani has had a very good second half for Zebra. He's just short. And going for the line is Rizzoli. Pretty good defence initially from, from Edinburgh. Zebra have to look after possession. And they do that, and they manage to get over Rizzoli. Mata now. He'd love to cap off a century of Edinburgh appearances with a try. Dean just delayed that beautifully to Savala, and going through is Matt Curry, who does add a bit of spice to Edinburgh's second half performance. Quick ball, they do exactly that here. Damon Hoyland did really well prior to this, finding space, and then the speed of the ball is completely different to what it's been of late. Great pass from Chris Dean, a lovely delay from. Charlie Savard under pressure, and Matt Curry, who's provided a couple of scoring passes this afternoon, gets his try, working hard off the ball, coming from in behind the, the ball carrier. Orange offside. Four orange. Four orange offside. Okay, offside by orange. And that's chipped through for Fusco. Playing with an advantage, and Trula will find the corner. Zebra get their third try. Did wonder if he was maybe slightly ahead of the kick that went through. This will clear it up here. No, I think he's onside. Good play. He's come half playing at number 13 now. And then frees Trula to score on a penalty advantage. They scored on the left-hand side. Good attack oh, again, Zebra. Really good finish. Uh, offside for Edinburgh. We're happy live that the player was onside with a kick. Because he needs to do it. 